Hey everyone, Adam here. I'm the owner of Vintique Motors, and today I want to do a little walk around of this beautiful 57 Pontiac Safari behind me. I'm going to do a nice in-depth uh, walk around, show some of the cosmetic imperfections in the surface of the paint, uh, show you guys how nice the interior is. Uh, then I also want to take you guys on a little ride. So we've got a beautiful sunny 57 degree day, finally got some nice weather. So I apologize for the lateness in the video, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to get to it. Okay, so here is the safari. Let's do a quick basic walk around and then I'll close in on some of the imperfections. I want everybody to understand exactly what they're bidding on. Don't like any surprises. If you follow me on BAT, you know I'm a pretty transparent seller. I try to make sure we accurately represent vehicles um, and uh, tell everyone uh, what they are and what to expect. Um, you know, so this is a uh, 57 Safari, like I mentioned, this was found, well, I shouldn't say found, it was pulled out of a barn uh, as a stalled restoration project in the Ann Arbor countryside back around 2018. Uh, it, would, it was painted and then they stalled, uh, put it in the barn and uh, uh, stored it properly, but uh, didn't finish it. Uh, it was exhumed and uh, finished properly. Um, so obviously it's red with a red and tan interior. Not the original color combo, but nonetheless, uh, looks pretty good on this car. So let's check out some of the uh, some of the paint imperfections that we might have. I'm gonna start up here on the passenger side fender. And as I walk, I'm just gonna kinda look with my eyes and zoom in with the camera a little bit. Some of these might be extremely hard to see because they are minute in nature, some of these, but nonetheless, I wanna point your attention to some of them. So you probably can see these right at the top of the fender, just some very, very, very minor imperfections. You know, and the paint is, Oh gosh, I think it was late about 10 to 12 years ago, if I remember correctly. Um, you know, so it got really good luster still, good shine. We gave it a good detail, a two-step polish. Um, and back when the car was finished, it was shown at the uh, Pontiac Nationals in Norwalk, Ohio, where it took third in class. So obviously you don't, you know, take a car to a a dedicated Pontiac show, um, unless it's, you know, in a show-worthy state, I will say. There's a little bit of rub and a little mar in the surface. The hood overall is in pretty darn good shape, aside for this one little area right here where the paint is blistered. And I believe we showed, if not all of these, then, then the great majority of these paint imperfections in the gallery, but I wanted to make this video so that we could uh, show them up close in case anybody missed any. There's another one on the driver's side fender or quarter panel. No, it's a fender, sorry. Back on the hood, there's another little spot there. Little spot there. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see these. Yeah, I see it. The camera's picking it up. It's a little wear mark. Not sure what that's from. Might be from a, a cover or something from in the barn during storage. I'm not sure, but uh, um, it's there. Most of these, you gotta be up on the car to see them. Uh, you know, you're not gonna see these from, you know, five to three, three to five feet away. You, know, you gotta be within a couple feet and you'll start to see majority of them. But again, now for transparency, I want to show all of them for you. As we move down the car, I think there's just a very little one there at the bottom of the door. You can barely see it. It's just some dust.
you know, bet you can't even see that one. It's really tough to see that. I can see it with my eye, but you probably can't with the camera. Very, very minute. Up here on the tail, there's a little bugger right there. Right there is a tiny little bit. And there's a paint run right there. Don't know if they were trying to touch something up. That's what it looks like. But I, uh, I'm speculating on that. really to speak of on this panel right here in the door there's a little bit some paint chipped away there at the bottom uh, the rocker right here at the bottom of the rocker again there's a little bit of paint run not sure if that's from bad prep in that area or again maybe a touch-up of some sort but it's there. The roof is pretty darn good. I think there was just one little spot back here. Let's see, yeah, right there. There's a little paint blemish. And that's it for as far as paint cosmetic. Glass is all in great shape. You know, you, you know when you take a step back from this car, I mean, it just looks great. You just. You don't, you don't think it's going to have some of these paint imperfections, but, um, you know, they, some of them are minor, very minor in nature. Others, like the one on the hood, you know, you can obviously see. But I wanted to make sure everybody saw them. Interior is gorgeous. All freshly redone. Seats are in great shape. Carpet's in great shape. Dash is in great shape. Go around to the other side. A cable system. New carpet. You know, it's, everything's in awesome shape in the interior. favorite part is the roof, the ceiling, with those chrome slats, just so cool. Okay, we'll show you guys under the hood, and then we'll go for a drive. All pretty standard stock. Pontiac from 1957. Okay, let's go for a little cruise.
So with these, you gotta put them in neutral to start them. Fires right up. Put it in drive. Or shut our overhead door. Wait one sec for her and we'll let the traffic clear. Okay, let's go for a little ride. As you can see, it's a beautiful Michigan spring day. Finally got some nice weather. It was snowing two days ago, mind you. So, as we say up here, if you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes. Nice cruiser, runs and rides down the road nicely. Brakes are fabulous, very tight. We did give this an alignment and I think we're gonna have to trying to adjust the steering box just a little bit more uh, the track's straight but you know there's a little little play in the steering not too bad though for a 66 year old vehicle slightly crowned road not exactly 100% flat but runs and drives cruises great give it a little gas she goes there's 50 you know no problem odometer is showing 56,106 miles currently do not know if that's the original mileage so TMU. Go ahead and turn around here. There's some minor rubbing I can hear coming from the steering column right here. It doesn't affect the steering at all. It's just, you know, minor little rub noise. I'm sure you can hear it. What a fun car. Shifts through all the gears good. gauges appear to be working but we're having a little issue with the fuel gauge and with the temperature gauge uh, they they do work uh, I believe though the ascending unit might have a little problem because it just reads full it goes straight to full um, and we have tested the temp gauge and it, it's making good contact and the needle will jump for us but it's just not reading uh, accurately like it should We'll attempt to uh, further diagnose it before the end of the auction. Uh, no, no, no guarantees we'll get it sorted, but we'll do our darndest to, uh, to do so. The clock is in up. Let's see if our radio's working. I don't believe it. 
even is. I don't hear any static or anything. But it's an AM radio. Who listens to AM anymore? Before we pull it back in the garage, I want to do another walk around in the sun. Awesome in the sun. Got a really good look, that red. All the trim glistens, shines. Got a nice little V8 rumble. noises, no knocking, everything working like it should under the hood. So there you go. Uh, if you have any questions, I know we got about 20 to 21 hours left in the auction. Uh, but if you have any questions, please reach out via the contact seller button. I'd be happy to answer. Uh, a few people have already uh, called uh, my uh, business, uh, Vintique Motors, 734-956-0041 is uh, my number. I'll be happy to answer any questions. I can also give you a shipping quote if you need one. Um, easiest to give you one if uh, you reach out via the contact seller button with your zip code. Um, I can get one uh, really quickly and get right back to you ASAP. Uh, with that, good luck bidding, everybody, and uh, I hope to... Uh, See this one go to a good home. Thanks.